Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 9th, 2016, and we just keep following the evidence. We got some pictures in that are quite intriguing. This photograph was sent in by one of our subscribers right out of Hartford, Connecticut, here in the United States. It was taken of the moon, and once again, we're seeing objects near and around the moon. Also, in the photograph was what looked like a debris field, either moving past the moon or around the moon, and this red hue. And then we received these photographs of a pink purple sphere moving across sky cams from Asia through Eastern Europe, Western Europe, and through the entire United States, east to west. Finally, hours later, being seen on other sky cams. So, usually the naysayers, oh, that's a lens flare, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll tell you what. That lens flare, like, traveled 15,000 miles and was seen by 13 different sky cams. So, I'm going to have to beg to differ with you on this one. That is an object that was clearly in some type of orbit. And then we viewed these sky cam photographs coming out of Hong Kong. And it clearly shows three illuminated objects in the sky. Now, we can't confirm what these objects were, but they passed by in a three-hour period in the time-lapsed footage. And then we received this footage in today. Clearly, clearly showing a blue planet being videotaped right there before your eyes on the city streets in the daytime. One of our subscribers sent this video in and they sent a few still photographs. And it's very hard to deny, but that doesn't look like a lens flare to me. That clearly is showing me a video camera using its technology to videotape a planetary object in the sky. And then, just last night, one of our Nibiru researchers out in California, Alex, took this amazing photograph of the moon with a small blue planet out in the distance. And since we're on the subject of the sky and space once again, we received a lot of photographs showing the sun simulator lenses clear as a bell in your photograph and these are not natural objects. So basically you really can't deny that someone is doing something to the sun. They're cloaking it, they're hiding it, they're intensifying it. They turned it into a mechanical device. And those lenses are clear as a bell. Other Planet X researchers have already uncovered it, including myself, Jeff P., and Steve Olson. Now, one of our subscribers sent in these photographs coming straight from the ISS, the International Space Station, photographing the sun. But that doesn't look like a natural sun to me, does it? Were these photographs supposed to be placed out there to the public, they probably think you don't know what you're looking at. But if you clearly look at it, that does not look like a sun of any natural origin. That looks like a machine, a device. And, and what is in front of it? Another craft? Hopefully that is the International Space Station caught in that photograph. But it's very unusual to me. What do you think? And finally, I'm going to leave you with a photograph from one of our other subscribers that literally just had to stop their vehicle and take a look at what they were seeing. And thank God, they snapped a photograph. Now, that clearly looks like an illuminated planet. And this individual stopped, saw it, and photographed it. But, you know, 
I guess, the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands of people that email their photographs and videos from around the world, well, I guess they're all seeing things and imagining things, and they all have broken cameras. You be the judge. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers and subscribers. Your loyalty is greatly appreciated. I'd also like to remind you to make sure that you are subscribed to the Nibiru channel and share all of our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget, you can still email your photographs and videos to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. Your videos and photographs are very important. We would also like to remind you that you should come back to the Nibiru channel daily for all of our current updates. Create a bookmark or a direct link to the Nibiru channel, Planet X 2016. This is vital to stay informed. And as you go through life and your day to day, always remember, keep an eye in the sky.